Hey everyone, my name is Tegan. Welcome back to Tandy Writes. I have been writing seriously for about 11 years. I've been writing novels for 5 years and I self-published my debut novel about 2 years ago, maybe a bit less. And I still have a lot to learn about being a writer and being an author because like, am I an author? Am I not an author? I, d I don't know. And sometimes I still feel a bit like the, like the little kid sat at my dad's giant computer just smashing the keyboard until words come out. But I've definitely made a lot of progress since I have since those days. So today I'm going to talk about some things I did to become a better writer. I hope you enjoyed this. So number one thing I do is write. And that's kind of obvious, but so many people forget to do it. So they get so caught up in like all the little tips and tricks and advice of writing that they forget that all they really have to do is just to put words on a page. Words are the most essential thing you need to like learn how to be a writer. Like, no one has to read them, they don't all have to be good. You can just literally just delete the file and completely abandon all the words once you're done. And, especially me, I needed to learn how to write. I didn't need to learn how to write. <laughs> I needed to write a lot to learn and see how I can experiment with language and develop my own style and just know about crafting. Like, even just sentences and sentence structure. I needed to write a lot to be able to learn about how I can experiment with language. I wanted to chase a bunch of like exciting ideas that I found really interesting but I didn't think other people would and that's where a lot of my scrap story ideas came from. And I would not be writing like how I am today if I didn't have these like thousands of practice words just like taking up storage. The second thing I did to become a better writer is learning how to edit and rewrite and that is something that's arguably more important than writing itself. Learning how to mould these first drafts into something better is, in my opinion, equally as important or maybe more important than writing the story itself. Almost everything I've learned about writing has been from rewriting and editing. And being able to put words onto a page is good, but books are more about rewriting and editing. <laughs> the number three thing I do is enter competitions. Because as someone who has spent pretty much all of their life in school. I'm now in my 13th year of being in school. Um, I'm obsessed with numbers and comparisons and all things like that. Being ranked in a competition shows me how someone else viewed my work as well as how someone else viewed someone else's work. And I could read like all these ones that people love and like, dissect them and discover what I did and didn't like about them and somehow apply that to my own work. Because as a writer, especially if you're trying to become published, what you like and don't like is very important, but arguably you're trying arguably the reader's opinion is more important as you are trying to sell books to them. I also entered a lot of competitions, shout out to novellas, because they had guides of what you can and can't write. And it was trying to narrow down what like if you go into a competition and you can write anything, that's overwhelming. They had like prompts and set rules of what to do and that was like, I'm inspired. That's how I used to like break through writer's block a lot of the time. And I'm very motivated by prizes. <laughs> Number four is that I learned how to like hush my inner critic. Not silence it completely because my own thoughts and feelings are still very important as it's my work. But to just quiet down like all the negative thoughts that would usually be consuming because it's so easy to fixate on one bad thing and overlook like hundreds of good things. And also when it comes to taking advice from others that you become obsessed about, it's, there's a fine line between like, well a fine line, there's a balance between like listening and taking on advice and picking the bits that you want to listen to, rather than because when I started writing and people would give me advice I would try and take on all of it because I felt like everyone is right and everyone's somehow better and more experienced than me so I have to listen to all of it. But now it's picking and choosing what you think will work and what you know will work or things that you know you have to do. And it's also known that there's so much to learn and so much to know and remember that everyone's going to have different opinions and their advice will probably contradict each other. So it's good to focus on the importance of like the importance. <sighs> It's good to focus on the opinions of like a smaller group of people that you know can trust and they have like your best interest at heart rather than what they want to read or what they want you to write. And number five, I read everything I can. I'm still trying to read everything I can. 
I read ebooks on the train like every morning and every afternoon on the way to and back from college. And when I'm just even just standing around waiting for someone or waiting for something to happen, or when I turn up for lessons and it hasn't started yet, I'll sit there and read ebooks. I spent so many years before that just, you know, reading paperbacks in the middle of light with my phone torch on and it's kind of reflecting off the pages and blinding me. But it's just a chance to read more. And books are the best teachers, and this links back to the competition thing a little. Because if I get stuck writing a certain scene, like a certain action scene, I'll go back through a select books, a select few books that I love, pick out the action scenes of them, and like dissect them, and pick and choose bits I like from them, and somehow apply that to my own work as well. And it's taken dialogue and characterization and description. And I'll do this for like any kind of scene I get stuck on, because books are the greatest teachers, and some of them are published for a reason. So it's be inspired. <laughs> so those are the five things I did to become a better author. In the comments below, let me know some things that you do to try and constantly improve your writing. And also let me know what's the best piece of writing advice you've ever been given. And also, did you actually use it or is it just like filed away somewhere for the future? So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye.